In part one of this video, we have seen how to draw the neuron. Here, in part two, we are going to draw the longitudinal section of kidney. This is the second very very important diagram. When you are watching this video, please make sure that you have your notebook and pencil along with you. And please keep in mind that in your examination, you are not allowed to use colored pencils. You have to draw your diagram with your regular pencil. So here we start with the LS of kidney. Be careful, draw along with me and I am sure this diagram you are going to find it very very easy. First of all, in LS of kidney, we are going to draw a English letter C. Something like this. And then we will join it like this. Okay, so this C like here and then join this. Right, this is a special part. We are going to see ki through this special part, there are some arteries, vein and things coming in and out of this kidney. So this part is very very important. Okay. Now we are going to draw a pyramid. Watch carefully. Draw this. We have to draw a triangular structure. Now follow this line. Now follow this line here. The second triangular structure. It is called a pyramid. Follow this line. Don't close the triangle. Keep some space between them. Again. Okay. Follow this line. Somewhat here and here. Now what are we going to do? We are going to join these parts. Right, we have joined this part. Now whatever comes inside the kidney and out, goes outside the kidney, it will be through this part. Okay, through this part. So what will I do? I will draw a line like this. From this last line, we have drawn this part. Now, from this first one, we will draw this. What we are going to do, initially we are going to keep a thickness more. And this thickness will gradually decrease. Right? Okay. Now we have to show arteries and veins. In the artery bringing blood inside the kidney and vein taking a blood outside this kidney. So here artery. slightly a smaller diameter it artery brings blood inside the kidney oxygenated blood then vein okay it takes deoxygenated blood outside the kidney right now we have to draw this line see draw one line at a center one line at this end other line at this end and then fill two more lines. So here we are getting a structure called pyramid. At the base of pyramid, draw a circle or oval like this. Again, first line, last line, middle line and few more lines. And at the base this. First line last line middle line straight then this this okay and at the base this first line last line a middle straight line this and this now we will show the outer part at the outer part we have to draw these dots So this is LS of kidney in front of you. Now it's time to label your diagram.
एनी पार्ट विच एसोसिएटेड विथ किडनी वी यूज अ वर्ड रीनल सो आउटर पार्ट इज कॉल्ड रीनल कॉटेक्स एंड द इनर पार्ट इज कॉल्ड रीनल मेड्यूला दीज लाइन्स विच वी हैव ड्रॉन इज कॉल्ड रीनल पिरामिड एंड एट द बेस ऑफ रीनल पिरामिड दिस सर्कुलर स्ट्रक्चर विच वी हैव ड्रॉन इज कॉल्ड पैपिला this funnel like structure is called pelvis and this line in form of a dash through which various part comes inside and go outside the kidney that is called hilum and renal artery brings blood oxygenated blood inside the kidney and this renal vein take deoxygenated blood outside the kidney let us see the different part of the kidney once again first and foremost the most important part in kidney is renal cortex then second one is renal medulla inner part is called medulla outer part is called cortex the blood vessel which brings blood inside the kidney oxygenated blood inside the kidney is the renal artery one which takes blood outside the kidney is called a renal vein and this funnel like structure is called the pelvis and this part this dashed line through which various parts come inside and go outside the kidney is called hilum and how can we forget this part this is ureter now most of the students go wrong with this part they either write urethra or something else this lines which we have drawn is called renal pyramid and this structure or the circle below this renal pyramid is the papilla so these nine parts in the ls or the longitudinal section of the kidney in the examination there is a high chance that this question may appear where you are required to draw ls of the kidney and label the four parts given by them so you can rewind this video play it pause it play it pause it and follow all my instruction believe me this is one of the easiest diagram so in another part we will try to learn the another important part for your examination